All right, um, if I could sum it up in one word, Manny Pacquiao's victory over Chris Algieri, it's dominant. Dominant victory. Blowout of Chris Algieri. Didn't win a round. Um, you know, even more dominant than how Bernard Hopkins got beat by Kovalev. And that says a lot. Um, you know, even Brandon Rios looked better than Chris Algieri there. You know, Brandon Rios never went down. Um. Chris Algieri was all over the place, and um, sort of, you know, the referee, I had my uh, doubts about him early on in the fight, because I didn't like the way he was calling uh, some of the knockdowns and and the the quote-unquote low blows by Algieri, but throw all that shit out the window, man, Pacquiao dominated the fight, Um, great jab, uh, good foot movement, just... Yeah, really nullified any advantages by Chris Algieri. And and like I said previously, um, faster hands, faster feet, you know, those are two huge advantages uh, that Manny Pacquiao has against 90% of his opposition. And he knows how to use them. Um, Chris Algieri said, you know, um, just in response to how badly he got beat, all he could say was, you know, Manny Pacquiao is really great. At being Manny Pacquiao, <laughs> that's all he could say, and um, that that pretty much sums up everything that happened. Manny Pacquiao won the fight, dominant victory. Uh, it says he's ready to fight Floyd. Uh, you know, we all have our doubts about that fight, but hopefully, the negotiations are actually going on, and uh, and something can actually be agreed upon. Um, other than that. You know, Manny Pacquiao was expected to win. It's not, uh, it's not something where, you know, it was a 50-50 fight. A lot of reporters had Algier. No, no, Manny Pacquiao was expected to win. He did what he had to do, just like Floyd. Floyd was expected to beat Maidana. He did what he had to do. So, let's see if these two guys uh, man up. Let's see if these two guys man up. That's all I got to say.